Hey guys, it's Mandy with Dollars and Roses and House of Rose. I thought today that I would show you guys how I am editing my vlogs in iMovie. I get a lot of questions about this and so I thought it would be good just to do a little tutorial for you guys. I'm just going to be keeping it pretty basic. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to delete clips, so just deleting little parts of your video that you no longer want in there, how to add text, how to add transitions, how to add an intro and an exit slide, and how to insert pictures. So I've already filmed my vlog in iMovie. I'll be starting this tutorial by showing you how to start a new project in iMovie. So I filmed it in iMovie, you don't have to do that. You can film it with a camera, your iPhone, you know, a flip cam, your Canon, whatever you're wanting to film it with, it's fine. If you do that, then you'll have to just make sure that you import it into iMovie. For the purposes of this video, mine is already imported into iMovie because I filmed it in iMovie, so it's already going to be there. So we'll begin by showing you how to start a new project once your video is already uploaded into iMovie. Okay, so here we go. Up here I clicked File, and I clicked on New Project, and then right here in the New Project in the name, I put, you know, Stop and Smell the Roses 4 and then I clicked create. Okay, so right here, there's just a little section that is kind of unnecessary, so all you do is you drag your little cursor over it, and it, it, it's you just kind of play with it to figure out the exact spot, and then you click it, and you drag. So this little highlighted yellow box, that's what I'm gonna possibly be deleting, but I wanna check it first. So what I'll do is take my cursor to the beginning, Okay, so that was... Okay, so I said, okay, so that, and that was really not necessary. So I'm just going to delete that out, make sure that it's at the right spot. That was one. All right, so I just, I highlighted it. Like I said, I clicked, I dragged it to the right, got it exactly where I wanted it. You can move it once it's here, so you can move it back and forth. And then that was... all you do is click delete, and it deletes that clip. And then you go back and make sure it sounds okay, so... That was one reason, and then another Okay, so that's kind of just showing you how you can delete sections of your video. I'm going to show you how to add a transition. And so if you go down here on the right, and you click this little transition browser button, it's a little square, this will bring up all of your transition choices. So you can choose from any of these. I usually do these top ones, cross dissolve, cross blur, cross zoom, or ripple. Okay, so I'm gonna add a transition right here where I jumped, like where I had deleted something. I'm gonna add a transition in there so that it kind of just doesn't jump from one clip to the next and it makes it smoother. Okay, so I'll just take this cross blur. All you do is just click on it and you just drag it to where you want it to go. In between these two clips is where I'm wanting to put it. And you'll see the little green bar and you just let go. And then it puts it there. So now if we go back and play it, so anyway, if you guys have you can see that it does a little transition instead of just jumping from clip to clip. Okay, so you can do that anywhere in your videos that you want to add transitions. That's how you do it. I always, always usually do an entry slide and an exit slide. And what you do with that is you're going to go back over here and you'll click on this little T, which is for text. We want to add this to the beginning of our video. You just click it, drag it put it at the beginning of your video. You can choose the background color. We're just going to do something simple. So we're just going to do this beige color. And then if you go over here, it'll highlight this text and you can delete that and put anything you want. So we're going to just put the title of this video, which is Stop and Smell the Roses. If you go up here and go to show fonts, you can click on that. It will let you change the font to pretty much anything that you desire. So I'm going to choose Big Castlin Medium. I'm also going to change the color. I like pink, so I'm going to make it pink. And you can change the size. We will make it, oh, this looks good. Let's do eight. Click done when you get it how you want it. And then up here in the right corner, you're also going to want to click done. Okay, so what that does is it adds a slide to the beginning of your video. Okay, I don't like when it's just a slide directly to video, so what we want to do there is we want to add a transition. So we come back over here to this transition slide, and we're just going to add a cross dissolve. So click it and drag it and drop it. And then if you watch, then do you see how it kind of isn't so blunt about cutting the video from the slide to the video clip. 
it kind of gives it a smooth transition, okay? All right, now I'm gonna show you how to add some text. Go back to this text button, and let's say that you wanna add your name and the name of your blog. You can find any of these. I prefer for that to use these ones down here, gradient white, soft bar white, something that sticks out. So we're gonna use gradient white, so if you just left click it, drag it above where you want it to be, so it's highlighting where it's gonna be. Drop it. Again, if you come over here, you can change the you text. You can also edit this, so by clicking on it and dragging it, you can make it start wherever you want it to start. I prefer that it's gonna start at the beginning since this is an introduction of me and my blog. And you can also take it and drag it and make it shorter or longer. One last thing that I would like to show you is how you can add a picture. You're just going to basically drag the picture from your desktop over wherever you want it to go. So we'll just, anywhere, we'll pick anywhere for now. And this little box will come up and you can either choose, I always choose either cutaway or picture in picture. Okay, picture in picture is gonna be where it will still show you, but there'll be like a picture in the right or left corner of the picture. Let's do cutaway for this one. So you can see it's really big and it looks blurry. This picture isn't the best resolution, okay? But what we'll do is if you highlight it by just clicking it, you can go down here and click on this little crop button and it allows you to do whatever you want with the photo. So for this one, I'm gonna do allow black. The first click is gonna be this green block box, which is where the video is gonna start. So you can move this and change it however you want. I usually just try to make it the center of the picture, you know, the center of the picture. And then if you click on the, click again, it's gonna highlight the end box. So this is where the picture will end, where you want your focus to end up, okay? So we want the focus to end up on his little face, so we'll put it like that. And I'll show you what I'm doing here just a, just a second. So if you do that and you go and you play it. I am kind of already told you guys last week that I was going to be talking about something that I'm So see how it starts out big and then it zooms into his face? That's what that cropping does. There's also this little blue box. So if you click on that little blue box and do clip adjustments, I always do this to my to my pictures or whatever I'm adding there, you'll want to do a manual and right here, if you just take it a little bit to the right, so just click it, what that's doing is transitioning it in slowly instead of like a direct jump to the picture. So let me show you again, so watch. I am. See how it kind of eased into that picture instead of just jumped into it? And I liked that. Again, you can make the picture longer or shorter, however lo long you want it to be on your video. So these are just some of the basic things that you can do to enhance your video. I hope that you found my tips helpful. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email or you know where to find me, dollarsandroses.com or houseofroseblog.com. Thanks.